looks so good, right? You know, they do. They keep it looking pristine. Uh -huh. Did you know it's International Beaver Day? I, I found that out because I was like, why is there a little groundhog on my computer icon? And I was like, oh, it's a beaver. Right, and it's, it's um, we're talking about cold air damming. So it's a, a dam forecast that uh -huh. the beavers on International of the, Beaver Day. Right? It's so appropriate. <laughs> I feel like the weather is like just totally like taking a nod uh -huh. from International Beaver Day. What is cold air damming, you wonder? Well, if you're anywhere across the southeast, you know these days. Maybe it just has you saying like some other four-letter words, right? But we're talking about D-A-M, like the dams that the beavers build. Already seeing that set up across sections of the southeast. Look at Charlotte, 50 degrees right now. Those northeast winds have moved in. We've got gusts. I think it was, hold on a second. I'm going to look back at my computer because I brought it up because I was curious. Yeah, they're gusting to 26 miles an hour. So it is a breezy day up there in Charlotte. That northeast wind's already bringing in the cold air. Columbia, meanwhile, you're sitting there at 81 going, what do you mean? <laughs> it's bad out there. It's pretty good. We've even got thunderstorms in the area. Atlanta, you're at 75, 85 in Macon. But wait, things will change. And the cold air damming setup comes courtesy of high pressure in the Northeast. Now, high pressure air flows around that clockwise. So we've got that cold air to the north that's going to spill southward as it does. It's not going to be able to continue that motion off to the west because of the Appalachian Mountains. So keep in mind here from West Virginia, Western Virginia, North Carolina, especially where we have some of the highest peaks, Northeast Georgia, there we've got those mountains. So, okay, we've got mountains here, but we've got that cold, dense air moving in. Cold, dense air, dense is heavier than the surrounding air. It's going to stay close to the ground. So nothing's going to get this forcing up and over those mountains. Instead, it stays dammed next to the eastern side of the mountain slopes are locked into these areas so you just see really cool temperatures very raw weather overcast skies heavy drizzle light rain that's pretty persistent through the day and again those temperatures stay very very chilly areas to the west they're like i don't really know what you're talking about it's not so bad over here and the strength of the wedge can determine how how far that cold air gets this one's going to be a pretty strong wedge actually you're going to see that cooler air begins to work into atlanta this evening so the temperature drops into the upper 50s tomorrow morning though you're in the upper 40s that's where you'll spend the entire day we're not going to see much of a diurnal or daytime range. We're going to stay right around 50 through the day. But Felicia, look at that cool air even extending over into eastern sections of Alabama. Raw Saturday, awful day at the Masters, 5 to 25 degrees below average. The good news is the cold air damming's out of here. That wedge is out of here by Sunday. That is the good news.